Hi, my name is Dr. P. S. Agrawal. I am working at Moorfields Eye Hospital and Institute of Thermology. This project deals with some of the metabolic and systemic disorders of the body such as diabetic retinopathy, hypertension, retinal vascular disorder wherein we are trying to investigate the properties of red blood cells and blood flow and its implications in some of these disorders. By understanding the mechanical properties of the red blood cell, the flow properties of the red blood cell and its aggregations in the retinal circulation by live imaging and at the same time complementing it with some in vitro experiments by microfluidics experiment by understanding the deformability studies of the RBCs, aggregation studies of the red blood cells will probably be able to postulate and put the, these two hypotheses together to come out with the mechanistic studies about the very basic disorders which can happen such as diabetes. I, I will now hand over to Stavrula who will take you through the technical aspects of this project. My name is Stavrula Balabani. I am a reader in thermofluids in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Understanding how blood flows in small vessels, in other words microhemodynamics, remains a challenging task. This is due to the nature of blood. Blood is a fascinating fluid comprising cells that interact with each other and with the vessel wall. From a mechanics point of view, blood is a complex multiphase fluid whose rheology depends very much on the mechanical properties of the red blood cells and in particular their deformability and their propensity to aggregate. Using microparticle image velocimetry, which is an established laser-based diagnostic technique, together with idealized microchannel geometries that mimic the microvasculature, we can obtain information about the spatial distribution of the red blood cells, their velocities, as well as the velocity of the suspended medium, in other words, the plasma. The UCL Fluids Group is one of the best equipped groups in the country for fluid mechanics research with state-of-the-art facilities and optical diagnostic equipment. We are the only group in UK to provide such detailed and highly resolved information on microscale blood flow in vitro and the only group in the world to be able to obtain these measurements under conditions of RBC aggregation. Hello, my name is Joanna Bronca and I'm a postdoctoral research fellow working in Professor Paul Beard's photoacoustic imaging group in the Department of Medical Physics and Biomedical Engineering. Photoacoustic flow methods are still in their infancy, but once they have been validated, for example in conjunction with particle image velocimetry, which my colleague Stavrula has spoken about, then they would enable new tools to investigate a range of red blood cell properties and hemodynamic parameters relating to various clinical conditions, ranging from retinal diseases to diabetes, skin grafts and cancers. The UCL Photoacoustic Imaging Group has an international reputation for producing award-winning publications and has written some of the most highly cited papers in the field. It is unlikely that there is anywhere else in the country that has such strong expertise in both photoacoustic imaging and particle image velocimetry.